Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to highlight how to create a linearly swept surface by sweeping a database curve. So you can see on the screen I have an aircraft, and if I zoom in to the wing, there is a gap between the main element and the full span aileron, and I'd like to close that gap. To do so, what I'm going to go ahead and do is select the database curve here at the trailing edge of the wing. I'm then going to go to Create and Sweep. And within this tool, you can select a curve to be swept, which is the generatrix, which I have already selected. And now it's prompting me to select a rail to sweep along. And that rail can be defined either by a curve or by picking two points in the display window. So I'm going to go ahead and select two points. I can either type in values or pick in the display window. So I'm going to select this point and this point. You'll see that the surface is rendered in the scene. And at this point, I can go ahead and click apply to accept that surface. Now, before I exit the panel, I have the option to go and define a new generatrix, basically a new curve that I would like to sweep, and then an additional rail. So you can create multiple swept surfaces before you exit this task. I'll go ahead and click OK, and we'll render. Let's select this surface and set it to shaded so you can see that surface is now spanning that gap. And in the list panel, if I reorganize, you'll see that surface is of type linear sweep. So that's how you can sweep database curves to create surfaces. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.